Let's talk about compound intervals. What is a compound interval? It happens when we are discuss, describing an interval beyond the limit of an octave, when two nodes lie more than an octave apart. That means if I started on E, and this was E, this is an octave from each other, right? You must know where octaves lie before you are in this class. If I describe any interval beyond this, right? If, for example, from this E, I'm looking for this note above the E. This interval is wider than an octave, right? Or if from here, I was looking for this note. This interval is wider than an octave. Once it's wider than an octave, the interval is called a compound interval. Why? We are compounding an octave with an extra smaller interval. So if, if I already explained what a simple interval is, right? That is within the octave, one to eight. Anything beyond that is compound because we add the extra to the simple. Okay, how do we explain it? Let me describe two ways. You can literally just count, right, and name it one way. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Let me do that again. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So from this E to this A, Let's make it A1 for the purpose of descriptions. It's what? 11th apart. That's one way of describing it. But obviously nobody likes this. I, I'm sure you don't like it. It's too much counting. And just by knowing that the notes can go any stretch, that would be extremely laborious, right? So there's a simpler way to do it. You, so this is the, the other way. Outline the octave, count the, the spare or the added interval beyond that octave, and name it as a compound interval by addition of the word compound. That's what, that's what it is. It means if from E, this is the octave E. Let me put that in brackets, right? This is the octave beyond this. I need to find the interval from here to here, and that is all. So that means from E to A, that's, that's what? One, two, three, four, that's a fourth. Do you see that? So I just, this is a fourth. This will be called a compound fourth. This and this are exactly equal. However, uh, I would prefer to call it this, easier to think about. You'll reach a point where you will need to describe ninths and elevenths and thirteenths, as we will see in subsequent classes. But that is because you, know, you are building the ninth as an addition to some established foundation set of notes, right? So you need to definitely call it a ninth. That is not describing intervals between two notes. But now we are describing just two notes, so we can simplify the description, right? When we get there, you will understand in detail. So from here, again, I just need to find the octave above the C. That's the octave. And then what? This is a third. So from that C to that E is one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a tenth. But it's a compound third. Again, by this you should have seen a pattern. There is, Music is mostly formulaic in nature, right? Things follow a certain structure. So you will see that the compound name is just what you added plus seven. If you add seven to four, that's 11. If you add seven to three, that's et cetera. I hope this is clear to you.